2020 is a very important year for our country. It is a time for change. And we see change coming not only at the presidential level, but at the state, county, and local levels. But I have to tell you, if we only make change at the presidential level, change will not occur. Change must occur at every level, at the state level, at the county level, at the local level. And so I made the decision to be a part of this wave of change, and that change needs to occur at the Texas Supreme Court. Woo! Thank you. ask, why would I leave a secure bench, which I'm not leaving, I was reelected in November and I have my bench for the next four years, why would I take the chance for running for the Texas Supreme Court? And my main motivation for running for the Texas Supreme Court, because it's time that we have a voice on the Texas Supreme Court, one that represents fairness, one that's not a part of the money interest groups, and we need a Texas Supreme Court that reflects the diversity of this rich state of Texas. <laughs> You might ask, okay, we've got the presidential race, so I'm great about that, and we've got some local races going on. Why should I care about the Texas Supreme Court? Well, I had a lot of good reasons until about two months ago. In June of 2019, the U.S. Supreme Court said, we are no longer going to um, entertain any questions regarding gerrymandering. That is a political issue. We're sending it back to the states. So states, go ahead, legislate, whatever, however you want to determine the districts, and guess where any legal challenge is going to end up? Supreme Court. The Texas Supreme Court. No longer at the U.S. Supreme Court. So I don't know about you, but do you feel comfortable with who's sitting on the Supreme Court now to make that decision? Let me ask you a question. Do you, can you even name five out of the nine justices? Because no one has actually taken the time. But this is the time now to have someone on the Texas Supreme Court who's going to hear those issues and give voice to it. I just I want to give you just a couple of facts about the Texas Supreme Court. There are nine justices. Only two are women. 50% of the people who take part in the elections are women. So we've got a disparity there. We have one Hispanic on the Texas Supreme Court who's part of the other party. And that other party has controlled the Texas Supreme Court for the last 20 years. In fact, those of you who are old enough will remember in the 80s, 60 Minutes with Mike Wallace had a story on the Texas Supreme Court. Is it for sale? I say no, and I say we need diversity on it. There are no African Americans on the Texas Supreme Court right now. There were two males 20 years ago who were Republicans. But let me tell you something. In the 174 year history of the Texas Supreme Court, there has never been an African American female. We need to change that. Our voices need to be heard. But it's going to take a lot of work. There are a lot of what we say hurdles that the legislature has put in front of us. As a statewide candidate, any judicial officer has got to go in the 14 Court of Appeals districts and obtain signatures. I've been to Lubbock, El Paso, Austin, San Antonio, Tyler, Marshall, Longview, Austin, San Antonio. I just have a couple more areas to go, so please, that's why we're having the announcement today. So I need your help. So what can you do? Well, of course, money. <laughs> That's okay, but you know what? It's more than money. I'm running a statewide campaign, and when I've been to all these other cities, and we're going to confirm it, but guess what? I can use your frequent fire points on Southwest Airlines. I can't drive to El Paso. Hotel, um, your hotel points that you don't use. Maybe your rental car. We'll take anything. On top of that, we need volunteers. I've got to turn out Dallas County, but I also need your relatives' help. When I'm in Lubbock, people are telling me, I got relatives in Dallas. When I'm in East Texas, I'm told I've got relatives in Dallas. I need for you to start contacting your circle of friends and getting support for us. 
Yeah, you can volunteer one day, one week, one month, or the whole duration. We'll take you any time, whatever you can do for us. We appreciate neighborhood coffees because it's nice when we have a nice small size so that we can get a chance to talk because I want you to know your next Supreme Court justice. I want you to know that she's going to be fair. I want you to know that she's going to approach each, each, each issue with integrity. And my Dallas attorneys, you know that I will always be prepared. So please join me in my journey for the Texas Supreme Court. Let's make a change in 2020. Thank you. My name is Marissa Maggio. I'm a plaintiff's personal injury attorney that practices in Dallas County. Judge Williams has a fantastic courtroom. My cases that have gone through run through efficiently in a timely way. Hi, I'm Stephen Kennedy. Uh, I'm supporting Judge Williams. Uh, I first met her about four years ago uh, when she was first starting to take the bench uh, at the district court level. Uh, I think she's the perfect person uh, to go to the Texas Supreme Court. Uh, she's from this area. She went to Hockaday. Uh, her uh, experience at uh, Georgetown Law obviously prepared her for tough legal issues. And uh, she's got 27 years of experience uh, doing uh, legal work and uh, two terms on the bench. I really strongly feel that it's time for a change in Texas and it's time for a change for somebody like Stacey Williams who has her uh, experience and her capabilities, her intelligence.